<laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the fourth installment of Lighting Systems 20 at 10 webinar series. Today we have Logan Gerhardt, Regional Sales Manager of LF Illumination. LF Illumination is the premier manufacturer of innovative architectural lighting solutions for retail, commercial, hospitality, and high-end residential applications. Today, Logan will be presenting the EFCO system. Please enter any questions you have into the chat and we'll address those at the end of the presentation. If you'd like to schedule a follow-up meeting about this presentation, please reach out to your lighting systems representative or click the link for the 20 at 10 page under knowledge on our website. Thanks so much for attending today. And remember the more sessions you attend live, the more money you can earn. Take it away, Logan. Thank you for the introduction, Linda. Uh, thanks everybody for joining us today. We are going to be discussing the EF Co system from LF Illumination. And uh, the first thing we're going to review is the asymmetric uh, part of the system. And uh, to preface this, there's a few different extruded uh, options available. Um, the asymmetric design has several different lensing options as well as uh, power levels available. Uh, within the family. Um, and as you'll see, as we're going through, uh, the LED driver engine assembly um, is field replaceable and interchangeable. Um, so let's get into the different options available in the EF symmetrical system. Um, so there's three extrusions and four different profiles uh, where these are used. So the drop-in and the wall mount, uh, they share a uh, a, a standard uh, extrusion that goes between the two, with the difference being the wall mount option um, has a, a rail system that mounts to the wall uh, for installation where the drop-in is meant to lay inside of a pre-designed uh, architectural code system. And then we have two different options available for mud-in. There's the straight edge application, and then there's a knife edge application. Both are trimless mud-in applications for drywall, uh, with just different design details, uh, depending on the space that you're using the fixture in. Uh, so the first one we're going to review is the knife edge detail. So the way the knife edge detail works is very much like the straight edge, um, except for the knife edge has a longer straight edge and uh, this return flange here. So uh, this is going to give you a, a concealed look to that product. Um, but both of them mount in a similar fashion where there's a rail uh, system that mounts to the wall and then the knife edge hinges onto that. Um, and as we go through, you're going to notice here that all of the systems have this interchangeable uh, optical train that has the driver attached to that. Um, and this is the wall mount option as well. So if you want to do either a wall mount version or a uh, knife edge uh, trimless application, both are available with 90 degree corner returns. So those are available as inside and outside corners um, available. And as you can see, the light does run directly into the end of that 90 degrees. So you get uninterrupted illumination uh, inside of that cove. And uh, one of the uh, features of the product is a back shield. So this will allow you to create cutoff, some cutoff or full cutoff, and you can vary in between those. So uh, if you leave this mounting plate all the way open, uh, that mounting plate will create no cutoff in the back. So that's if you have a deeper cove and you wanna illuminate the whole cove or in applications that cove might be fairly shallow and you don't wanna create a hot spot in the back, uh, you can slide that shield all the way forward to get full cutoff so you're not illuminating the back edge of that code detail. Uh, so this really allows the designer and uh, once the fixtures installed the contractor to be able to make those adjustments um, in the field. So they do have preset markers on there so you can repeat this exact same cutoff down the line of fixtures um, in that application. And uh, part of this unique design is having this removable gear tray, and that has several features. Uh, one of them is easy maintenance. If, if there ever is a upgrade or a failure in the field that needs to be swapped out in the future, uh, those gear trays are removable. There's a hinge in the front 
um, where the, the back of the fixture pops up, uh, it's a friction lock, and then there's a hinge in the front. You remove that part of that assembly. Uh, each one has inline connectors to be able to remove that particular section out of the extrusion that can be replaced in the field um, in the future, either for product upgrade um, or for maintenance in the, in the future. So outside of just having asymmetrical light sources uh, installed in this extrusion, we have several different options available. Uh, the one you're seeing here is to do just a standalone uh, accent light inside of that cove. So the head you see here peeking over the edge, that's our EF411 head. Um, that's available in two sizes uh, with multiple different lumen packages, um, and they're ranging all the way up to just under 3,000 delivered lumens uh, out of that product. That is on a magnetic base plate um, using rare earth magnets, so very strong connection. It can be picked up and moved to any location um, inside of that channel, uh, but then you can also uh, use this same product either to match in the EF code, and we also have an EF slot product that uses uh, some of the same extrusions and some of the same uh, spot modules and linear sources in there. So if you have code and slot product, you can make that match throughout the LF illumination uh, EF slot and co family. Um, this is a detail showing what the knife edge would, or sorry, what the uh, straight edge would look like in a trimless application. So this is where, you know, you may not have the depth to have that knife edge, or you just want that clean vertical line. You don't want to have that knife edge detail, but you still want that trimless edge. So this is an option that's available um, in the EF code product as well. So you can also in integrate both a linear source and a module. Uh, with the design of this fixture, the light source in the back is a symmetrical light source in this application where you have a spot module and a linear source. Uh, but that uh, linear module can have similar performances uh, to the asymmetric. So going up to a little over a thousand lumens a foot uh, delivered in both the asymmetric and the symmetrical source um, that's available. Um, instead of just having, you know, the standard uh, linear run lengths with inside and outside corners available, we do custom radiuses as well. So you're going to see a couple application photos here in a minute that will show uh, some of these different applications. But to help you understand how this is constructed, um, it, it wouldn't be as easy as what you see in that rendering. Uh, that when we design this fixture and, and fabricate it at our factory, these are actually miter cut sections that are welded, uh, obviously smoothed down, and then there is a fascia that is applied so that below the ceiling, you see a very smooth uh, fascia applied to our fixture. And then the underside of that is obviously the mud in uh, for the drywall. So the finished product looks very clean and smooth, but it, it's not as easy as just having a formed curve uh, extruded aluminum section. These are miter cut and uh, highly fabricated at our factory. Uh, the next few slides are just going to be some application photos um, of the product and, and different scenes. So this is the Marcus Mariota Sports Performance Center uh, at the University of Oregon. This is using a design that we call Simple Rail. So it's taking that extrusion, uh, you know, tossing that out and then using just a, as it would apply, a simple rail design that just allows our magnetic based fixtures to be able to attach to. So those can be placed on top of a structure and these modules, as just as the channel, they can be picked up and moved to highlight any uh, thing in that space, whether you know it's, it's trophies, artwork, uh, what have you. Those modules are movable um, at the time of installation and in the future. Um, this is an application showing that uh, EF asymmetrical product, but is actually mounted on a vertical surface. So it's it's pushing light down that wall and not just pushing it into the cove. Um, that is, as you can see in this photo, there's not uh, down lights in that space to illuminate. It's using this cove for all of the illumination. So um, those are actually mounted uh, to push light down that wall as well. Uh, this is a project at uh, the Coca-Cola store at Disney World. And what you're seeing here is 
our EF200 curved product uh, running that perimeter um, with our accent uh, modules peeking over the edge and our linear source uplighting into uh, that built out uh, circle. And what, what the designer was trying to accomplish here was creating the look and effect of a can of Coke being open. So uh, that is illuminated section so supposed to be the rim of the can. And uh, they, they had a uh, artist that was a glass blower that created these different size bubbles, hung them at different elevations and used our EF uh, 400 accent heads to be able to illuminate the glass. And we used our EF uh, linear source to be able to light the rim of that uh, quote unquote can of Coke being opened. Uh, this is a application inside of a bank in downtown Los Angeles. Uh, the product that we're highlighting here is the EF Cove uh, with a linear source, uh, the symmetrical source, and an accent module um, that's both lighting up and grazing down, uh, you know, this marble finish as well as illuminating the artwork um, on all sides of these elevator shafts in this space. Okay, so that is the end of the presentation portion. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a short video. Um, our friends over at LightEye had recently uh, done a, a product shoot of the EF Cove system. So I'm gonna let Sam take it away here for a couple minutes and showcase the EF system. And then um, at the end of the video, I'll, I'll turn it back over to uh, Linda and the lighting systems teams for any uh, questions that have come through during the presentation. Hey, what's going on? I'm Sam. Welcome to Lada, where we empower Lada ideas. Do you ever walk into a room that just looks good? It feels good. You know, you just want to hang out. Let's check out the EF Cove from LF Illumination and how it creates a cozy, comfy, and well-lit environment. <laughs> simple form that enables the architecture to illuminate a space while concealing the light source is what the variety of form factors in the EF Co family has been designed to accomplish. The continuity of a cohesive design doesn't have to end with a finished wall. Extend it, activate that planar surface, and enable it to incorporate a solution that illuminates the entire environment. Take a single element that's straight or curved, like a wall, and use it to deliver an asymmetric light into the space. Alternatively, use a direct light source with the option for an indirect uplight. You can also mix and match them, combining everything together in one single extrusion. The EF Cove is versatile and has three ways to live in a space. You can add it to a flat ceiling with a level five finish and pick your profile, the knife edge or that straight edge. It muds into place using standard construction methods that include drywall. Alternatively, use an assembled unit that's fully finished and becomes a subtle extension that has a flat base return straight to the wall. With either option, a mount rail can be installed first to align the unit and assure continuous runs connect together with both an alignment plate and pins to keep it on track from start to finish. Through wiring and multiple circuits give you the ability to individually control all the layers of light. Don't have a wall, but just want to keep things tucked away? No problem. Use simple rail. It's, well, it's simple. It's easy to mount and the magnetic plate holds everything in place, whether it's a track light or that linear uplight component. And don't forget, you could tuck that same configuration into the knife edge or the straight edge too. Designed to be modular, the EF Cove is a single point to provide multiple layers of light in a space. It's somewhere you just want to be, kind of like this. Comfy, cozy, and relaxed. If you want to learn more, check out the web link right there. Dive into the details. If you want to see this room transformed, you know, same light, different application, click that link and dive into the details. We'll unpack this system. We'll give you the details and we'll give you some more inspiration. If you just like lighting and you want to learn more, tap that. Subscribe to LightEye and I'll send you my next light idea. See ya. Well, 
great. Thank you so much, Logan. And thanks everybody for attending. We have a couple of questions in the chat. So I'll go ahead and read those off for you, Logan. Okay. Okay, the first one is the mounting rail required for installation. Um, it is not required. Uh, there might be applications where you do not want to use that mounting rail. Um, if, if it's going into an older structure and the walls are very uh, not square out of, uh, you know, not flush, that rail could be substituted where you just mount the fixture directly to the wall. Um, even if a wall isn't completely flush, uh, you can still shim behind uh, that rail so that you're not deflecting uh, that rail when you screw it to the wall. So there's different options that you have, but it is not 100% required. Uh, you can go without it um, in some applications. Okay, great. Um, and is this paintable? It is. The product is feel paintable. Um, it's from the factory. It's a white finish. Uh, that does act as a primer base. So if the client wants to wet paint the product in the field, that absolutely can be done. Okay, great. We've got one more question. Does this fall under your quick ship program? Uh, while it doesn't fall under our traditional quick ship program, um, the product still does ship in roughly two to three weeks, uh, it, assuming there's not custom modifications that require it to go through our engineering team. But uh, typical lead time is two to three weeks on a standard product. All right, great. Thanks so much, Logan, for being Thank here you. with us today. And thanks to everybody who joined. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll see you at the next 20 at, at 10 with Lighting Systems.